Hi, I'm Henry Williams, and this is my 1999 Honda ST 1100. The ST stands for Sport Touring, but the way this bike rides and the way it accelerates, it might as well stand for Speed Trap. Quite a few times I've looked down and found myself going way faster than I should have. But that's how smooth this bike is. It's a longitudinal V4 engine, 1100cc, puts out about 90 horsepower or so, and it just moves. It's gear driven, it has a nice quiet sound to it. If you like those loud bikes that make all that noise and let you know they're coming, this isn't going to be the bike for you. This is a bike for a more mature person who does like to go fast, but doesn't like the world to know that they're coming. It's got a great size windshield. It go, the wind airflow goes right over the top of your head. If you're a little bit taller than 5'9 or 10, you're going to feel some buffeting. The Healy bars, uh, they were added to the bike after uh, purchase, so they bring the handlebars a little bit closer to you. In addition to the handlebars, we have heated grips. Not, necessar not necessary in, down here in Phoenix, but up in Flagstaff, pretty much, probably. I'd say you want to use them. And an accessory port if you have electric clothing or items you want to plug into there. Now, it's got a set of PIAA lights on there, so if you're ever riding in really bad, you know, dark fog or something like that, you put these things on, they'll, they're about 80 watts each, so they'll light up the ground pretty well. Uh, this is not the gas tank, believe it or not. It holds 7.5 gallons and is under the seat. Now, when you put the gas tank under your seat, you've lowered the center of gravity of the bike. It handles much better than if the gas tank was up here. Flipping this little compartment open right here will access the gas tank as well as the idle speed control, which is a pretty interesting place to put it because if you did have to do any uh, carburetor adjustments, you could do them right from here. We've got a Corbin gunfighter seat on here. It's real flat, real firm. It can get a little bit tiring after about 300 miles on it or so, but it's comfortable, you know, for the meantime, it's in great condition as well as the passenger portion of the seat. Moving on to the back, we've got the Gibby mono key locking system for the trunk. One key unlocks it and also allows you to slide it right off the back so that you can uh, go, you know, trunkless if you desire to. You don't need the extra space. Uh, speaking of extra space, you've got these lovely side bags right here. Uh, they lock as well for security, and they also slide off the bike, so you can kind of go what they call naked sport tour. Moving on over to this side of the bike, uh, these mirrors break off. You know, plastics on a motorcycle can be a lot more than fixing the engine, just replacing them. So when you have mirrors that snap right off and dangle by this wire, and they have a little ball and socket, you know, you can save a lot of money because they'll break off on impact or if you just bang into the bike, which I found out while waxing the bike once, I banged into it and came right off, popped it right back in. It's a great feature. Now, if you take a look down here, you've got these little wings, I call them. These are crash guard protectors. If your bike falls over, there's a metal bar behind here that'll take the hit, kind of like the old style 80s crash bars that would stick out. Well, these look a little bit better, I'd say. And notice how the engine is hidden behind all of this plastic. That makes for a real nice, quiet ride. You don't hear all the gear noise and everything that you would do on a bike that doesn't have it. One of the cooler things about this bike, too, is if you want to put it on the center stand, you simply step on this, and you pull this really cool lever out, and as you rock it back, it'll go right on the center stand without a lot of fuss and a lot of muss. This bike weighs about 700 pounds fully loaded with fuel and everything. You're going to make sure you're a strong person to be able to handle the weight of it. Now let's take a look at the instrument panel. 